if x is between negative 8 and negative 4, and y is between negative 13 and negative 5, then what are the bounds for x times y? So in other words, we need to figure out the lowest and the highest values for the product x times y. And notice that both x and y are always going to be negative numbers. So if we take their product, a negative times a negative is just a positive number. And the highest possible value for x times y will be the product of their most negative numbers. So negative 8 and negative 13 multiplied together will be the highest value for x times y. So in other words, x times y is always less than negative 8 times negative 13, and it's always bigger than the product of the smallest negative values that x and y can take. So x times y is always bigger than negative 4 times negative 5. And after simplifying this, we know that x times y is always less than negative 8 times negative 13 would be positive 104. And x times y is bigger than negative 4 times negative 5, which is positive 20. So x times y is always bigger than 20, and it's always less than 104.